today we are going to dive into the second episode of how to make a design video intro. In the last video, we have learned the production ideas, and if you haven't watched that yet, click on the link in the upper right corner to check that out. And in the second video, we are going to learn how to make a directional push and a pull transition effect, and how to create small label like the video effect you see here. If you are interested in this topic, keep watching. First of all, free download video pro vlogger through the link we put in the description box down below. Launch your software. Create a new project. Import video footage. First, drag the background to the video track. Then, drag the clip to the overlay track. Find the plus icon on the far left of the track. Click it to add an overlay track. Then, use the shortcut Ctrl C to copy it. And press Ctrl V to paste it to the overlay track 1. We have mentioned a color scheme in the video intro comes in black, white, gray, and green. So now, let's adjust the colors of the two videos in turn. First, click on the original video to activate the color editor to turn the whole image into green. We pull the temperature and tint values to the lowest, and you can see that the screen is now in bright red. Then scroll down and find the HSL section. Pull the hue value to the green area and adjust the saturation and the luminance. Mm, now the screen becomes green, but it is a little bright and feels less textured. We scroll up and lower the exposure, contrast, and the saturation. Does it match more now? Click Apply to apply adjustment. In addition, click on the Cuphead video. Also, go to the Color Editor. Pull down the Exposure, Contrast, and the Saturation. Adjust it to black and white. Click Apply and return to the main screen. Now the color design of the two image is complete. Now, let's use the show or high layer rectangle at the bottom of the preview window to adjust the size and the position of the two videos. Once they've been adjusted, we can add flying animations to them. Click to select the original video. Come to the inspector in the upper right. Find the fade and move area. What we need now is the moving direction. So choose a preset here that match the position of the screen. That is to fly in from the bottom left. Adjust the duration. And let's check out the effect. Not bad. Again, select the copied video. In the moving direction here, select the preset that match the position of the screen, which is to fly from the top right. Here I think the two images are pretty much the same, which is kind of boring. So let's find a flip in the transform here. Click on vertical flip to flip one of the image. Play again to see. And now you can clearly feel that the two images are not blended well with the background, which looks pretty unnatural. Thus, we find a compositing in the inspector. Add screen blend mode to both of them. and the effect would come out better.
we click on the text icon to add a text content and choose the font. Then, click on the camera icon at the top of the preview window. Import a screenshot into the software. And we then add an overlay track. Drag it into it. Now click on the crop icon to crop it to the right size. Click apply to apply adjustment. Then use show or high layer rectangle to adjust the size, rotation and position to give the label more design. Click on effect in the top left. Find a border effect. Drag it into the effect track. Next, you can adjust the size in the inspector. Check the object to be applied it. In addition, I'm gonna add a quick effect to the scene to make it more rhythmic and dynamic. Alright, that's all for today's video. Anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And we will see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye!